next coincident coincident is used to make the point to coincident on a line on a on on an arc or or a circle you can make the line end point to be lying on the arc that's what i mean coincident equal slot when you cre create slot you can make the two different sl slots to be having the same parameters equal is applied for circle and also for arc and also for line equal curvature is used to apply for the spline symmetric as you know to create the geometry uh, on the one side to be the same on the other side we can go for symmetry fix slot to fix the predefined slot on the same location let's see in solidworks how we can create this here in this in this sketch i want to apply the first constraint called coincident that means i need this endpoint of the arc should lie on this line segment i can go for midpoint no we need to apply make coincident the same for this on this i'll use make coincident uh, here i have one more requirement this arc is in different radius okay and this arc in is different radius i want these two arc to be having the same radius i can use equal now these two radius now if you if you dimension one both radius will have the same parameter this is the symbol which will enlighten the equal the same you can apply for the line segment you can select two line segments and you can make equal but here uh, we didn't apply the constraints fully for this sketch it is behaving in a different way as other design in intent is disturbed the line segment is changed dynamically and now let's look into the equal curvature how we can do this equal curvature here if you look into this diagram uh, i created a surface and i created a uh, spline over here i'll select this spline then i'll select this edge of the surface you can apply equal curvature that is the curvature will be sharing that is uh, equal curvature i hope uh, it will be inward geometry what i will do i will remove this and once again i'll create the spline i'll go and say i'll create a spline here and i will say uh, this surface and this should have the i'm sorry this sh first should lie on this point i'll make uh, make peers and i'll say this and this should have the equal curvature now you can see it is having equal curvature it is uh, if you if you look in this view i'm sorry if you in this side view if you see you can see the same curvature is maintained over here and after this point the shape is getting modified this is what equal curvature let us look into the uh, e symmetric relation i have geometry on both sides but i have to make symmetric about the center line select the entities which one you want to do it and also select using control point these entities and select the center line you will have the option called as symmetry as, as of now we did wrong selection so i will deselect this i will select using control key the two line segment and this center part center line you will have symmetric and this symmetric condition can be applied for two circles two arcs you can select the two circles and a center line you will use symmetric and let's look into the uh, one more relation that is uh, equal slot we created two slots i will select these two slots which is of different size i can use make equal and now i need to fix here i will go and say make slot fixed that's all about relation in uh, solidworks now we have remaining couple of relations let's see in the next slide